So, what you may notice is that in my videos, I use multiple tags, adrenal fatigue, chronic fatigue, ME, fibromyalgia, and some people wonder why I use why I use all these terms. It's because I'm trying to get to as big an audience as I possibly can, yeah? And most of them are very inter interlinked. You know, for example, my symptoms, if I was to go back to my symptoms, did I have chronic fatigue? Yes, I did. Did I have symptoms of ME? Yes, I did. Did I have symptoms of fibromyalgia? Yes, I did. I had POTS. I had symptoms of adrenal fatigue. And at the end of the day, all these symptoms, all these symptoms, all these labels that are man-made, yeah, they're man-made these labels, all these things boil down to the very same thing. Your body is completely burdened. It is it is deteriorating. Week after week, month after month, year after year, your body is slowly deteriorating. New symptoms show up. Now, for the first five years of my illness, I did not have any symptoms of POTS. As my symptoms got worse, and as I justified not changing my lifestyle, justified all these different things. I wasn't committed, I didn't want change bad enough yet. I wasn't rock bottom. All these symptoms, yeah, were slowly getting worse and worse. I started getting more fibromyalgia symptoms. I was getting more and more pain in my muscles. I was getting pot symptoms showing up. I couldn't stand up without my eyes almost blacking out. I couldn't hold any amount of weight above my head. My symptoms got so bad where at my very worst, getting up the stairs was a hard was hard. I'd get to the top of the stairs and be shaky and didn't want to go downstairs for the rest of the day. I would be weak. I, you know this this is the same shit that I've always said. Yeah. When I say all these different terms, is to get the audience that I want. My advice helps all people across those boards. And the thing is that all these terms that are given to all these specific set of symptoms, yeah, most people have inter interlinked symptoms from various different labels. They don't just go, I only fit in the chronic fatigue one, but I have none of anything else. That's rare. I don't see that very often. People with chronic fatigue, where they just go, I'm tired all the time, don't have a chronic illness. They just need to sort their lifestyle out. They'll be done in a few months. When you have other symptoms like weakness, sleep problems, uh, joint pain, muscle pain, burning feeling, um, for example, uh, another weird symptom that I used to have, I uh, towards the end when I was, hadn't changed anything yet, I would get this feeling like someone had dropped hot water over my legs. So originally, when this first symptom happened, I would stand up and I thought I dropped dropped something over myself. I looked and nothing was there. I just had this like hot burning sensation down my leg. What's that symptom of? Shall I go and Google search this to find a specific um, label to give myself again? I went through all these different labels. Oh, I just got a different symptom of something that's not in fibromyalgia or, or whatever label you have. What I'm trying to say is searching for labels all the time, you're just wasting your fucking time. If you've not fundamentally overhauled your lifestyle and your diet and all these different things looking for um, labels to give yourself doesn't change that does it doesn't change it so when I use all these different terms is to get the audience that I'm looking for is to get all people that are looking for help so that they can actually find something that's going to help them Changing your diet isn't going to make you feel any fucking worse, yeah? It's going to benefit you in recovery no matter what. If it doesn't cure you outright, 
then you have to keep looking for other things to do. But you don't just go back to a shit diet, go, diet doesn't cure it, I'm not going to change my diet, therefore I'm not going to change my diet. That's the fucking same shit that made me ill for 7-8 years and made my symptoms gradually worse. You have to do things consistently, whether or not they cure you completely. Doing the right thing is never the wrong thing. Having a healthy diet uh, is not going to make you feel any worse. I don't know where I'm going with this video, but... <sighs> People will criticize, criticize the fact that I use all these different terms, but the reality is that I'm just trying to get the audience that want help to try and get them to sift through the bullshit. Uh, another thing I saw was people talking about a cure. A cure's not coming. <laughs> a cure doesn't exist for cancer. A cure doesn't exist for lupus. A cure doesn't exist for what whatever disease you want to talk about. What makes you think a cure's around the corner for you? If someone that's going to die within the next few years from stage 4 cancer doesn't have a cure, what makes you think there's going to be a cure for you? You know, you have to realise that your health, yeah, is in your hands. No, no one else cares. The only person that cares about you not having the energy you want and feeling dreadful is yourself. No one else cares. Oh, my family care, but are they really? Are they looking up solutions for you? Are they with you constantly and just talking about how they wish you were better and looking out there for solutions to try and help you out? Probably not. They probably don't even understand. They probably think that, oh, he's been to a doctor. He or she's been to a doctor. They said they're fine, so maybe it is in the mind. Or, it's not serious. It's not a death sentence. It's not going to kill them, so whatever. Most people don't care. The only person that cares is you. I'm fucking...